place where adults with learning disabilities can try new creative activities, meet new people and have fun. You decide what to do. People can relate to me because I've got a learning disability. Me being a participant first, a year and a half later I've achieved my goal by becoming a volunteer. I enjoy Heart and Soul a lot of times because every time I don't have nothing to do in the other days of the week apart from Thursday when I'm at home bored with doing nothing. What clubs do you go to? I go to tonight. I find it very friendly, nice place to socialise. It's a learning thing for me. Like, we're here to like, I don't know, teach them, guide them, but they teach you as well. And so it actually helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It helps like the community just to meet other people. Do you know what I mean? And be like, oh wow. But everybody says hello to everybody, uh, and everybody's on first name terms. Everyone knows everyone, and that's really lovely. As crazy in a good way as you would like to be. <laughs> yeah. And no, <laughs> no one will judge you. Just to, to do silly things uh, and to dance in the middle of the room. Whether you're a volunteer or a participant. Everybody gets something out of coming to All Souls. I'm joined here and I learn a lot about how to support people with different needs. And I really love the structure of it, um, the fact that it's seasons. There's definitely so much to engage different people, so the seasons give people a chance to kind of like explore a topic, so look at it from lots of different ways, using different art forms. I remember in the beginning, it was one of the first sessions we attend here. We came with a huge mask at Laura's uh, mom home. It was two years ago, I believe, and they still have this mask on the wall. I use all the skills in all sorts. I use skills at home. I use skills at work. We go to the album and sit down in the cafeteria and have something to eat, and people will pass and talk to you. That's the sort of atmosphere that all sorts and heart and soul and the Albany represents. It's friendly and safe and um, there's always something going on, there's always people walking around. And you come all the way to bed. Yeah. Is it because there's nothing else to do or do you just find this place fantastic? Fantastic.